Hello, 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 and welcome to another 24 hour drop shipping challenge. My name is Billy Sonora, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to it. In this video, we're gonna be creating a Shopify store around a specific product that I will mention in a few minutes, and also creating the ads, and also running the ads, in this case, Facebook ads all within a 24 hour time frame. Now a lot of dropshippers, a lot of dropshipping beginners take their time a few weeks, even days to create a dropshipping store, find the product and get their ads up and running. Now there's nothing wrong with that. In my opinion, the more market research you can get done and the more in depth and, and better your ads and also your stories, the more chances you're gonna be profitable right off the bat. But in this case, I wanted to find out how much can we do within a 24 hour time frame. Now, as of you've already seen with the beginning, the 24 hour time mark is already ticking. So I'm gonna have to accelerate this intro a little bit. Now I've already done a 24 hour challenge video in the past. If you haven't seen it, thanks for watching it. But this one was predominantly selling these oyster necklaces through Instagram meme pages. And it did all right. I think we extracted somewhere to 30 to 40 euros profit, which was all right, but not something super spectacular. But you guys really wanted to see me run some Facebook ads within that time period. So I'm giving it to you. So to refresh the concept, we're gonna be building a store around this product. It's these LED light strips. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen it before, whether it's on TikTok or you have them yourself. Super fantastic product. Pretty much everyone has it, but I'm still seeing ads for them. And I think they can still definitely sell. I mean, if we even, if we just look at the dropshipping center they're selling consistently so i thought i'd at least give it a shot see if i can get some sales within a few hours so to see if this product actually works and i have something a little bit more in mind for a few future videos so stay tuned for those so we're going to be creating the store around the product creating the ads and also running the ads via facebook all within a 24 hour time frame i hope you understand that so far and if you do let's get started now the time has already started ticking and we're already a few minutes in so we lost a few minutes for this intro but nonetheless, now we got to create the store. So cue the time lapse. Two hours later. All right, now let's take a look at the store. This is the store I created. It is called Ascent Lights, Essential Lights. I think it had a quite the nice ring to it. So I went with it. I did a little bit of a magic here to say with the logo. I'm not entirely sure if I'm a fan with this, how it looks on a desktop, but on mobile, it does look quite cool. Did a little bit of Photoshop right there. Pretty decent. Also, um, letting me extraordinary. Very simple homepage, five meters, 50 meters, and 10 meters. Also installed a scarcity bar because our main selling factor is a 50% off. Guarantee. I got a guarantee bar. Previous customers looks great in all these guarantees on the bottom. Passes the vibe check, so you know the drill. On mobile, it also looks super clean because um, that is very, very important when we start creating our stores and running them as well. If we take a look at the landing page on Shop Now, um, also everything is perfectly mobile optimized. Got a GIF. This one was a little bit different. We're not using that much text, but we're predominantly focusing on visual materials. We'll see how that turns out. Remember with these type of challenges that I do. I just really also want to give you some educational value, but also give you entertainment. I want to spice things up in this scene. And I also want to see if some of these things work myself. So I just like testing things out. Energize your room, control with your phone. How many do I need, etc. A little small little quantity break at the bottom. Could work probably a little bit up top, a little bit better. A 30 day money back guarantee with a batch. I think that looks quite clean and nice. And for some reason, the reviews aren't loading right here, uh, but they're usually there. So I mean, store, it looks pretty decent to me and it definitely passes the vibe check as the lights do real quick app setup is super simple we got alley reviews obviously for the social proof we got a countdown timer for the scarcity bar we got debutify a lot of themes already in there and a lot of plugins such as the sticky add to cart and many more we also have lucky orange for those of you that don't know what that is it's basically it tracks consumer behavior and you can replay it and to see where the majority of your drop-off happened just gives you a better understanding at first if your conversion rate is slightly off to see how your consumers are behaving what can you change up and how can you improve the conversion rate like that and that's pretty much it with the store so now i also created the video ad for this now not really uh, super talented when it comes to video ads creating uh, usually out source them uh, to other video editors but you know we were quite time restrained so I took it upon my hands and this is what we got so let's play the app too bad 
out if you ask me. So ads check, the store check, product check. Now, what is left? That's right, Facebook ads. Let's get right into that. Hi there, it's me from tomorrow. It's future me. I noticed you haven't subscribed or actually like this video. Please do. It really supports me as I like giving back to you and you guys just have to give a subscription to me. Now I know that seems needy, but you'll definitely not regret it. So I don't wanna keep you waiting. You gotta continue the video, come on. Now, since we are doing a 24 hour challenge and we don't have a full day or multiple days of testing, we're gonna to have to be a little bit experimental. Um, so we're gonna be going with 10 ads to start each at $10 a day budgets. And we're obviously gonna go with purchase campaigns and conversions. We're gonna set that up real super simple. So for this, we're gonna go for targeting in the top five countries, obviously people that are only living there. So we're gonna go with Canada, Australia, UK, United States, and also New Zealand. Now for the age, I decided to go with 18 to 55. Don't see people over 55 being too interested in that, but that's just something I want to test out. Genders, obviously a gender neutral product. So we're gonna leave that on default. I only change that up if it is like, a, let's say a cosmetics product. And I think the majority of only females would be interested in that. Now, obviously that's not 100% the case anymore, but that was just an example. Regarding detailed targeting, sometimes they leave it on, sometimes they take it off. It really depends. Testing it out is definitely worth the shot. Now, when it comes to the actual interest, we're gonna try out more multiple different interests from multiple different areas when it comes to like home improvement or like furniture type scenario. Then we're also gonna go with something like uh, maybe streaming platforms or gaming and some other type of interests. We're gonna try it very, very wide, a widespread, because uh, we don't know, because this is a very, very broad product and pretty much anyone could be interested in this. So I'm definitely super curious how this will go. And for this first interest, we're gonna go with home interiors. We're gonna exclude dropshipping and AliExpress just to hide the ads for now from other dropshippers or people that are interested in AliExpress. It's not gonna last forever. Eventually they are gonna get discovered, but we also choose languages, English all. Now, when it comes to the placements, we're gonna go with only Instagram feed and story for now. Usually to start testing, I do go with automatic placements, but we're time restricted or we're changing things up slightly. Now within that, we're just gonna be putting in the one ad creative since I didn't have more time for that. And to be honest, I don't know how that ad creative is gonna go, but, I'm hopeful. Hopefully it does turn out semi-decent. So that's our first ad set done. We're gonna duplicate this nine times and then we're gonna have 10 ad sets for it. So here are the 10 ad sets that we're gonna be testing out. It varies, home decor products, PS4, TikTok, engaged shoppers, gaming, interior design, modern furniture, and so on. These are just a few that we're gonna be testing. Maybe in between the day, I'll spice it up a little bit. We're gonna be a little bit preemptive when it comes to killing the ad sets and maybe duplicating a few. We're experimenting really with this video uh, since we're relatively restrictive. And this is not normally how I do things, but it's a challenge and I like to spice things up here. Now, normally with a $10 a day ad set level budget, if I would be testing each individual interest normally, I'd at least give each individual ad set two to three days and also run it to at least its break even point to give each ad set an interest a fair shot. Even let's say if the CTR wasn't that great, we might have a lucky purchase in there, or maybe there's an untapped patch within that interest. Now with this one, we're a little bit more restrained on the time and we still want to stay possibly as profitable as possible. So maybe you'll see me killing ad sets somewhere in between like a two, three, four, or five dollars. I don't know yet, but it's a heads up warning and this is not normally how I would do it, but it's a challenge. We gotta spice things up right here. And I guess you know what I'm saying. And so the ad sets are all set up. We're gonna publish them, hopefully get them reviewed in a really quick time. So they're up and running in no time. And hopefully we can turn up tomorrow with some profits, be balling and move on. <laughs> Regardless, hopefully we do get some sales. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but I'm relatively optimistic that we can see some decent results. See you guys tomorrow. Hey yo, we are back. So 24 hour time frame is done and dusted. Let's get right into the stats, shall we? Now, I'm gonna warn you guys, I'm a little bit frustrated. Actually, more than a little bit of frustrated. Now, Facebook is low-key terrible at tracking a few things. They're terrible at tracking things precisely. Now, I mostly rely on Google Analytics for super precise tracking. You guys know that some purchases don't get registered. You'll see in just a second why that is so annoying. And I mean, checkouts initiated are wrong. You'll see it on the dashboard on Shopify directly. It's all messed up. It all doesn't make sense. And that is always just frustrating for me personally since I'm a stat freak and it is important to know where the statistics go right, go wrong, and you know, with this challenge, I'm probably not gonna pursue this store any longer with Facebook ads directly. Um, maybe give a few interests a, a little bit more of a shot, but not probably long-term. Regardless, we're gonna get into the Facebook stats right now so that you can see everything how it is set up. So these are the ad sets that we ended up running. iTunes and online shopping just weren't performing at all. 
Uh, so I killed them after we spent $3.99 and $4.44. We spent a total of $94.21. We only got one registered purchase, which is $59 and 95 cents but hold on wait a second we actually got a lot more than that that is just the only purchase that got registered and that is super frustrating because we actually got a massive purchase low-key towards the end which actually the person grabbed three times the 15 meter band which is priced at 59.95 so it actually helped us out massively at 180 dollars additionally so that we resulted in 239 dollars and 80 cents as you'll see just right now so if we scroll back right here you can see me refreshing it right there here it is 239 and 80 cents i'll show you guys in just a second through lucky orange and it isn't fake i'm not one to fake the stats you guys know me i'm here to be a transparent not one of these fake gurus and that is just really really frustrating that facebook did not capture this for us i can show you guys right here as well we actually got seven visitors right now so we'll see maybe we'll even continue this for a little bit but that is super frustrating good thing i did set up lucky orange as you'll see in the screen recording right here you can see the viewed order and you can see other people actually added this product five times three times into their cart so a lot of people were actually interested in buying more than one which was pretty great but there weren't a lot of people that actually purchased this and looking at facebook stats it's very very annoying because you see right here you got four checkouts initiated but when i checked in earlier there were five so now we lost a checkout initiated and i mean that's just frustrating mark come on fix up your stuff uh no and so originally we were at roughly 13 ROAS I think when I did like the midway check now we decreased to 5.96 uh, so I duplicated gaming again tried to play it out to the audience a little bit more since we had quite a few at the cards uh, same thing with PS4 they had a fantastic click-through rate at first 3% and then I duplicated it uh, but the duplicates didn't perform at all and I also added Xbox one because I thought it would be similar to PS4 could also perform so I don't know where the best possible audience came from, where they actually purchased the three. Uh, so that's frustrating, but I think I'll definitely continue giving modern furniture a try, gaming. TikTok is surprisingly decent and also the normal PS4 ad set since they have relatively good CTRs and the people are actually adding the product to the cart. They're just not purchasing just yet. So the stats are not terrible since we did end up spending $94.21 and got $240 back in return. So that's pretty decent. So now let's talk about how much money we actually made. Now we spend $94.21 on ads, so that is obviously an expense. Now obviously we also have to subtract the domain cost of Ascent Lights, which are $14. So that obviously is subtracted as well. And we also have to add the four times 15 meters that have been ordered in total, which is quite nice that the majority of people actually bought the 15 meter one and one of them ended up buying three. I know it looks sketchy, believe me. I'd be worried as well, but I promise you guys, I did not think. And so four times the product cost for the 50 meter one, we come in at a price point of $74.24 for additional expenses that we have to subtract. So we had $182.45 as the total amount of expenses within this 24 hour time frame, And we managed to accumulate a revenue of $239.80, which leaves us at a profit at $56.75. It's all right. It's not bad considering this is a product that has been sold super often, super often. But this also clearly shows that there are still people that want this product and there are still people that are willing to buy this product. And there are a lot of people that want to buy multiples. So I'm going to probably give this another shot, uh, continue testing a few of these audiences. And to be honest, I'm actually relatively surprised how my personal ad performed with some of these interests. For some of the interests, terrible, terrible ad. But for other ones, not too bad. I got to give myself a little pat on the back right here. Um, no, but I'm actually terrible at video ad creation. And one more thing, see 0 0.64 uh, ROAS, the actual campaign ROAS, if we do add our final order, which was another $180, that puts us at a ROAS of 2.55 which puts us at a profitable position. Regardless, hopefully you guys did enjoy this. We came out profitable, so that's decent. And actually we're gonna be doing a video in the next few weeks, maybe next week or the week after that, where we're gonna be trying a slightly different marketing platform for this exact store so that we can compare this side by side. That's what I meant. Stick, stick around for additional videos on this. I think you guys will definitely like that one and it will definitely be super interesting. Now, one thing I do have to say, there are a lot of you guys that enjoy watching these challenge videos and I highly appreciate that. So definitely, thanks. 
and leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you do. By the way, too many of you guys aren't subscribed. So take your time, subscribe, and do enjoy. And that's pretty much it for me. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another video. Bye-bye.